one thing you have to do is you're going to have to drill some extra holes in your router. Now, that's not going to hurt your router because there's already holes in there anyway. You're just going to drill something to make it usable for your next invention or whatever the case may be. Anyway, all my routers and tools and everything all have all kinds of holes in them because I have to sometimes I have to take things to job sites and turn them into mills lathes or whatever anyway this is no different okay anyway the reason you made your marks on there is now you can come in you want to get that you want to get that router bit right in the center of that mark and uh, then you want to take some screws and then screw this thing down right there where it's at because uh, our first router will be, I mean our first flute will be ready to go now. So let me get that screwed down. One thing I forgot to mention is that you want to start in your center flutes first because if you start from the outside when you move in and then your two inner flutes are a little bit wider or narrower than what you wanted it to be then you you pretty much have to start over but this way if you're off just a hair well then the outside edge of your lumber you know instead of having that one inch uh, reveal you know you might be maybe an inch and a sixteenth or inch and an eighth as you're as you're moving this router to the outer to the outer flutes so start with your center ones and then work out and then plus two you can always uh, you can always move the router in and out because this is your first one. You're not doing any. Uh, we're not setting up any of our uh, our spacers yet. Okay, got our two holes drilled. Okay, there's one. Move it around till we get it in the center. Get our next one. All right, you're set, ready to go. Now you just need to start out and get the depth. So we'll start about halfway, maybe halfway down off the bit. Tilt your router back. We've got our first two done, and we'll measure to see if they're half inch wide. And they are, boy, they're so close to half inch it hurts. So, but you can adjust your bit up and down. We've got a half inch router bit in there. Now you can, now if you don't want the deep look, you can always use like a three quarter inch router bit, and that way you have more of a, a smooth inside. With this one, you have to go down a half an inch to get a half an inch. With a three-quarter bit, you would only have to go by on like a quarter of an inch to get a half inch. So in other words, you've got more of a, like I said, a, a smooth concave in there. All right, now let's, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this good. 
now we got to run down and say okay we want to stop here and then at the other end oh get this around here and then we want to come up to here and stop so what we need to do this is where high tech comes in now when you want to come down to an end and stop you need to always add a little extra in other words if you're going to use eight foot boards you might think about buying 10 foot boards so that leaves you a little extra on each end to kind of trim in case you're whatever you're putting this on you may have to trim off some as you go down the line which means if the eight foot and then you trim it it's going to come up too short in order for it to look right but in this case this is just for setting up so let's just say that we're going to stop you know eight and a half inches let's just say we're just going to stop eight and a half inches from the end put a smart across there okay let's say we're going to do the same thing at the other end eight and a half put a smart across there okay there's our mark now what we do As we're, oh boy. as we're running this thing across, then we go down. I know you're not going to be able to see it, but when I get the, I'll get the uh, camera off here in a second and show you. But all you do is you just run this, you just watch the edge of that bit. Just watch the edge of that bit coming up to this line. And it's, it's pretty easy to watch, and this is where you're going to need your safety glasses. Really, you should have them on already anyway. Alright, so I'm going to run this down here and stop, and then I'm going to reverse and go back the other way. Okay, you can see what I've done. So you just watch that bit till you come right up to that edge. And the same thing here. You come down to the other end. And you do the same thing over here. And the nice thing about flutes is that they're far enough apart to where, as you can see, this one came over maybe a sixteenth of an inch farther than, than this one. And really, once it gets painted, nobody's going nobody's to be able to tell the difference. And if you look at manufacturers' ones that come from the factory, they're the same way. Nothing's, nothing's perfect. Anyway, okay, now what we need to do is we're going to set up. Well, before I do, let me put the router back on here, and I'm going to try to follow you, get you to follow over there to the end. What you are seeing is what I would be seeing if I got over there to the edge. So... As we're coming down, this thing's cutting. You get over to that, that line, you slow down, and then you get it right to that line, and then you stop. And then the same thing as you're coming back the other way. We're running down the line, and you see we get right to that mark, and then we stop. And uh, that's, the, that's the high tech part about this whole operation. The rest of it is math and just making a bunch of noise.